Okay, we were on. Whoa, camera's getting a little crazy on us here. Working on number five on page 10 of our 7.5 notes. So we are kind of dissecting this sentence here. So we had this equation. They told us this equation is the equation for distance above the ground or height. And it's in feet. And T represents seconds. Because it's important that you know what your variables stand for. Because otherwise you won't know which answer goes with which part of the problem. Because lots of times they switch these around, which you'll see on the next one. So you can't assume that the first one you find is always going to be second. And the second one's going to be height because that's not how it works, unfortunately. So then because of the word maximum, those were our hints to find the vertex. So anytime it says maximum or minimum, or maximize or minimize, that's your hint to find the vertex using our new formula. So our new formula is h equals the opposite of b over 2a. But I look in this problem and I go, oh, there isn't an x. So this is my y. So that means they're using t in place of x. So t is the opposite of b over 2a. So the opposite of b, negative 462 over 2 times a, negative 11. Divide those two out. And remember how I said you cannot type this into the calculator how it is. So you have to work that out first, then do the division. It came out 21, and t is seconds. It's so important that you put that t there. Otherwise, you're going to put feet on that and think that's how high the projectile is. So this is always x, and our x in this problem is t. So that's our first answer. After how many seconds does it reach its maximum height? And this is what it would look like in a picture. So here's a projectile. Here's its maximum height. Here's time on the x-axis. That means that maximum height is occurring at 21 seconds. But now it's also asking us what is the maximum height. That means they want us to find h. Well, that's just like the parabolas we did earlier. Once you know what t is, you plug it in, and that's how you find h. So h is going to be negative 11 times, and I don't need parentheses because this isn't negative, so I can just write 21 squared plus 462 times 21. So you write that out. That's your work step. Then you just go and type it in the calculator just like you see it. So we have negative 11 times 21 and then hit your x squared button plus 462 times 21 and that is okay i'm just going to go back through my screen just to make sure everything's okay 21 squared plus 462 times 21 yep 4851 and then we look here and this is why we always use variables so we know what we're labeling I'm labeling height and height is in feet so this is how many feet high the object will be so after 21 seconds so seconds is on the x-axis on the y-axis you're going to be at 48.51 feet. Oops. So that's what that looks like. That's where the highest point is on the graph. Cool, huh? So go ahead and turn off the video. Try number six and then come back and join me and we'll check it together. Okay, a manufacturer of flat screen has found the revenue R in dollars. So there's your first important bit of information is given by this equation. When the unit 
price is P dollars. That's important. So let's go ahead and highlight those because we know those are the big things with their labels. If the manufacturer sets the price P to maximize revenue, ding, 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 ding. That is the keyword that tells you what to do. Because so many times students will go, well, I read the word problem, but I don't know where to start. Well, there's your start. Maximize means find the vertex. So the minute you see maximize or minimize, you know to find the vertex. So I know the vertex formula is x equals the opposite of b over 2a. Let me get my paper situated here. But this problem, again, and let's go ahead and write this equation so we don't have to keep looking up there. So negative 4p squared plus 1200p. And do you notice on both this one and the problem before c was missing? So if you want to put 0, fine, because the p squared term or x squared term is always a, um, oh, geez, Kim, is always a. The P or X term is always B, and the constant is C. So we don't have an X. What letter are they using in place of X? We'll look at your function notation. We know whatever's in parentheses the, is the X. So this is going to be P equals the opposite of B over 2A. So the opposite of B would be negative 1,200 over 2 times a is negative 4. So again, don't type it into your calculator yet. Work out the bottom first, then type it in. Because you'll see, let me show you how you will not get the right answer. So the correct way to do it would be to do negative 1200 divided by negative 8. And that's 150. And we'll label it in a second. But this is what a lot of students do on the test. So watch my calculator screen. They do negative 1,200 divided by 2 parentheses negative 4. And they go, oh, it looks just like what I have written here. Well, it's not. This is what the calculator does. It knows order of operations. So it doesn't multiply 2 by negative 4. Order of operations says multiplication and division are left to right. So it divides those two, it gets the answer negative 600, and multiplies it by negative 4. Look how different the answer is. Not even close to what we have here. So be careful when you type these in. First work out the denominator, then divide. So you can't do this in one step like we can a lot of problems because of the division. Okay, so you just have to do negative, whoops, negative 1200. Oh my goodness. Negative 1200 divided by negative 8, which is 150. So now we have to decide what the label is. So what does P stand for? P is the unit price in dollars. So $150 is the unit price. So whatever, oh, the TV, I was going to say whatever we're manufacturing, we're manufacturing TV. So in order to get the most money possible, because if you price something too high, then no one buys it. You price something too low, you don't make a good profit. So this would be the profit that would sell the most TVs and make the manufacturer the most money. So that answers... Uh, what is the maximum revenue? Is that the answer to that question? No. What is the price? Yes. So see how we just answered the second question first? So they don't always ask it in the right order. So 
That's why we use these letters. P is for price. R is for revenue. Okay, so to find the maximum revenue, we take our original equation, and everywhere we see a P, we plug in 150. So R of 150, that means the revenue when the item is priced at 150 is negative 4 times 150 squared plus 1,200 times 150. So everywhere I saw P, I replaced it with 150. Yikes. Oh, good thing I went and looked back at that. Plus 1,200 times 150. There we go. Now we're ready for the calculator. Ooh, that was loud. Sorry. Trying to get everything on the screen, but I don't think it's all going to fit at the same time. So we'll do this. There we go. So negative 4 times 150, then hit your x squared button, plus 1200 times 150. And that looks like $90,000. And let's just take our screen and go backwards just to make sure we typed everything okay. So negative 4 times 150 squared, yep, plus 1200 times 150, yep, 90,000 it is. So who can tell me what the label is? Dollars first. And what is it? What is $90,000? The maximum revenue. So what is the maximum revenue to the nearest whole number? So max revenue. So now we have them both labeled so we know which one's the price, which one's the revenue. So either one of those is really good to study for the test. I, I think the test is worded more like five, but they, they both have the word maximize in them and you do the same steps. So study them both. That'll be good practice for you. So we have one more section to go in chapter seven. So I'll see you. Uh,